Um, so, um, you're up, Phil? Yeah? I'm okay. going, yeah. Okay. Good morning, gentlemen. I'm going to give you a presentation which I, I like to give about um, growing your business uh, cost effectively in the business of breakfast way. So, I'm going to address this um, and I'll you know, ask a few questions and we'll learn um, from you and get you to understand a little bit uh, about uh, how to get the most out of B2B and what the other alternative marketing strategies or additional marketing strategies you can do to grow your business. Things like this. So, um, just a quick uh, what you'll see. Uh, I'm just going to talk about um, the marketing challenges for small businesses, uh, four important words which um, uh, people need to remember of all marketing systems and how to get the most of them. Four things that I always recommend all businesses, are, you know, especially uh, if you come to B2B, they must employ and as members the elements of B2B success. So, uh, can I uh, ask a question? Who here is in business? So, okay, so I'm addressing the right audience, your own business. So we are not hobbyists, we're here to make money. Is that, is that we all agree? That's good. So, uh, I think um, how long you've been in business, some of it will vary, some of have been here longer than others, some have just started. But we still, you know, whether you're a new, bus uh, new business or a small business, the challenge is the very same. Uh, especially if you're new, you may have, you know, you've got, uh, you're coming out from the world of work, you stop being a corporate student as I did four years ago, and you don't have that regular salary anymore. So, you, you know, how are you going to make some money? How are you going to keep going? You've got no experience. You know, the money is tight, you know. I'm sure uh, uh, Mike will say that, you know, the problem with a lot of small businesses that start up is capitalization, working capital. They just don't have enough money to get it going and do it properly. People do it on the shoestring. They have no network. Nobody knows who they are. They have no customers, no reputation. What differentiates one accountant from another, one IFA from another, one lawyer from another? Very small things. It's, it's not about you know, the professional qualification or, or, or things like that. It's about your reputation in the market, how people perceive you. The number one problem for a lot of small businesses, new or small or whatever, and it's still going on, is they have no focus. They don't know what they're about. They have no plan as to how they're going to actually generate sales and referrals. So, four, four really important words to really understand. Okay, so we, we all agree we're in business. We're not hobbyists. It's a business, I'm afraid. It's not to be, to be to a downer and, and it's bright sunny morning. It's hard work. So we all have to do some hard work. Whatever you do, this is hard work you need to do. It requires discipline. You know, coming to B2B every fortnight as a partner group is a disciplined activity. It has to be done on a regular basis. And you, you, know, you, have, to, you have to persevere. Relationships which is what we're here to do, build up relationships with word of mouth marketing, take time. Our guest here talked about uh, how you can destroy your reputation very quickly. It takes time to build a relationship and get the reputation for reliability and to be referred on. Most of all, it takes a plan. Who is it that you want to be referred to? Four things I always talk about at B2B. Networking. Got to get out there, especially you know, in, all the time, is to get out there and let people know who you are and you exist. There's only one letter difference between networking and not working. <laughs> yeah. So you think about it. You could be the greatest thing since sliced bread. If nobody knows you exist, people are not going to come to you and give you work. They will still know about you. You've got to spend a lot of time building a reputation. Yeah, differentiating yourself from the rest of your competitors. Uh, a very good friend of mine, Rob Brown, who, who writes a lot about networking, he says, you know, he's just. It's literally down to small percentage points, the difference between people. Professional qualification is not, or technical ability is not a differentiator. People do not actually buy on that basis. They're based on a reputation. Is he going to do a good job? Are they reliable? You know, am I going to get a reasonable price? Social media. Today, we have a wonderful set of tools for small businesses. Social media allows us to amplify our, our reach, allows us to continue the conversation, allows us to punch above our weight. If you are not using social media today, you are missing a big trick. You know, so talk to Andrew about LinkedIn or Phil about Twitter. These are important tools. You have to use them. Whichever tool you're going to go to, and it's different, different things will suit different people or different businesses, you've got to get out there and use it. And referral marketing. And in that sense, referral marketing and networking are two sides of the same, uh, uh, same tool, and you've got to use them both. But here, this is a discipline activity. This is about doing business with people you already know, building on those relationships you gain through networking, actually starting to exchange referrals actually getting to, uh, to to grow your business and your sales. So, B2B members, we've got three B2B members, we've got some folders to hand out later, 
what does it take to be a successful B2B? I know Phil will talk about it, but this is my you know, blueprint after many years, and we've done B2B now for nearly 14 years. What does it take to be a successful B2B member? First of all, presence. You've got to turn up. You don't turn up to a B2B meeting. I'm, I'm very sorry, it will not happen because people will judge you very, you know, we're very polite in the UK, we we'll be very good polite in the oh, yes, If you don't turn up, I've heard every excuse under the sun, I can tell you now that it doesn't, people will just ignore it and just say, tag you unreliable and your real reputation is destroyed in, in, from that act. So make B for B a priority in your diary. Or for any other activity you do, not just B for B, presence is definitely required. One to one. This is the cornerstone of B for B. 60 seconds, most, most of us do not deliver a good 60 second elevator pitch for a whole bunch of reasons. We're uncomfortable, it's not to be, we try to cram in too much. But one to one is your opportunity to really nail down to the person opposite what you do, and importantly, understand what they do. This is a business meeting, this is not a coffee and a chat. Let's play this animal social where you're building your relationship. Can you agree on understanding what is it these people want, and what is it that, you know, do they understand what they want, and I, I want from them? So you've got to build out with actions and properly structured business agendas. If you want referrals, guess what? Ladies and gentlemen, you have to give referrals. So this is not a closed system. You, you, know, you have to put into the B2B bank account before you start drawing up. And you have to give referrals. So if people are very clear as the referrals they're looking for, please do them a favour and connect them up to, to the people or the institutions that they're thinking. At the end of the day, what are they build, buying from this? It's not a buying circle, this. this is a third party referral marketing business. They're looking to get your contacts into the organisation which they can't reach today because they don't have a relationship. So if you can relate, refer somebody into an organisation, do so. Guests. Why is it important to bring guests to B4B? Take it apart from B4B, yes, at some point, some guests may decide to join B4B and that's, that's all fine. But this is about your reputation. Your reputation you know, through your business qualities. Bringing guests will allow you to, to show people in business, your colleagues or potential customers or uh, you know, existing customer suppliers, that you're a connected person. You're a man who knows people who can help them solve their problem, or very importantly, solve perhaps the problems of, um, of B2B members. If somebody's asked to meet somebody and you can bring this person along to a B2B member at a meeting, how fantastic is that? That will gain you. If you want my number one of our number one tips to gain fame is bringing guests and helping to solve somebody else's problem. Just think about that first thing again. It's not about B2B, you know, we'll sort this out afterwards. It's about your reputation, it's about you getting more referrals. And the number one thing that most people fail to, uh, to, to do is, is, is focus. Uh, so if, if you can't, and this is, I'm being very honest, this is my tough love uh, approach, tell me who your top 10 people, uh, companies with names that you want to reach, my, my view is I can't refer you in. You will not get referrals unless you can specifically say who you want to be referred to, down into the name of the company, name of the thing. We're all in business, we've all got marketing plans, I'm sure our, our marketing uh, colleague here will tell us. If you can't know who you want to be referred into, you don't have a business, do you? It's the engine of, of, of your business, you have to be specific, who is it you want to be referred into? Give me a name. And the final thing, energy and enthusiasm. So I have good news, miserable people don't get referrals. You, you, you laugh, but people come to B for B, and oh, you know, but that's not going to endear you to anybody. Also, comics don't do very well at B for B as well. So try not to be, you know, there is a, there is a fine line between uh, being miserable and being a comic. So do it with energy, enthusiasm, get involved, tell people that you're, you're part of B for B. We're, we're social leaders, do things like that. So, those are the end yeah, of success. This won't be a B for B meeting if I uh, didn't tell you what I'm looking for, because I'm always looking for referrals myself. Continued conversations. So I'm always happy to have a one-to-one. -one. I'm always uh, happy to uh, talk to B3 members and give them a, a dose of tough love about the referrals they're looking for and their strategies. East Midlands, as I said in my 60 seconds, we're looking to grow in East Midlands. It's a complete tragedy and, and travesty that we don't have groups in East Midlands. The closest what we have is Burton. We need to get into it. So anybody you know would be great. Obviously, the West Midlands under Phil, we really want to accent uh, what we're doing, so the more we can do, uh, the better to grow our groups and uh, what's going on in the West Midlands. I'm always looking for opportunities like today to speak and say a few words and spread, uh, spread the word about referral marketing and uh, word of mouth. Because 
how many, so I'm going to ask a question. How many people in this room, uh, you know, what's the number one source of, of business? Is it word of mouth? Can I ask that question? Your reputation? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Would you maybe like to hazard a guess what uh, the percentages of, of the British uh, businesses actually do any word of mouth marketing? 3%. So I'd like to address the 97% of the businesses who do no word of mouth marketing. Yet everybody tells me the only way they do business. And we have a, a, a series of events lined up across the uh, uh, East and West Midlands with uh, Rob Brown, who say, if you go online, you'll see a great, great speaker, great authority about referral marketing networking. And we're teaming up with, um, with Rob, especially uh, in Staffordshire and, and this part of the West Midlands, to do a series of one-day courses. We'll be writing to you, inviting you with a special discount code. And if you want to get involved and to really have a great day learning with Rob, please uh, book on using the B2B discount code. That's it. Thank you very much indeed, Phil. Thank you. I'm um, you, happy to take a, a, a couple of questions. Yeah. Um, I'll see Mr. Rogers if that's all right with you, because you're moderating. That's all right. I'll even I'll record your questions if you want. Uh, any any questions for Stuart either uh, about B for B, about what he said about referral marketing, or even about the things that he's he's looking for. Well, I stand silent. I'm sorry. I've got a question then. Okay. Um, what's the biggest mistake? If you have to say one thing. What's the biggest mistake you see B for B members doing? You must attend a lot of meetings over many years, seen lots of members. What What do you think the biggest mistake is? I'm sure there's a top three biggest mistakes, but what What's the one? So the, ignoring that one, that's the biggest mistake people make. Yeah, I'll assume that. Uh, yeah, that's a bit. We say that has to be worked on. People understand that. You've seen those things. People just don't. I just don't know what. You know. At the end of the day, um, people have paid money to become members. You've all paid money to be, become members of B for B. That's really the fraction of the cost it takes to do B for B properly. You know, it's your time. Your what's your number one scarce resource is your time. So you should do it properly. If if you don't, if, if you can't, you know, if people are not clear who you want to be referred to. If you're if you're if you leave any gap or any misunderstanding or any uh, you know, issue. You will not be referred. So it's really, you know, saying things. I want to work with small businesses, or I want to, you know, I've heard uh, things like, you know, I'd like to work with businesses that make profit. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, I can't refer it on. So you really have to nail it down to really specifically, and you've got to think very hard about your business. What is it you want the people in the room to refer? You get the referrals you, you deserve, unfortunately. And if you're very, if you're very unclear, you will not get any referrals. So if I had one tip, and this is really, you know, this is. This is how world-class networking is about focus. Because if you are focus on what you want, it'll help your pitch, it'll help you spotlight your one-to-one -one person. So. Can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. sure. So what, given the fact that we're in the new group here, um, and I was thinking just down the road in Litchfield, there's a group that was fairly new, and now it's like, you know, I've been there, fantastic group. I mean, what's your number one tip for us as members here to, um, you know, make the group what we want it to be? In the end of the day, each group, you know, has a certain character, it's a collection of individuals, how they're going to gel together, sometimes, you know, it's an act of serendipity, we're not always very sure. Uh, I, I would say they had a lot of energy and enthusiasm, you know, it was a very, you know, a bunch of classy acts. They had a lot of perseverance and discipline about the way they applied the system. But to be honest, you know, some of those guys have done very well with their focus, you know. You know, you go to, a, if I go to literal meeting, you know, pretty, I've got a good understanding of what these guys are about, I've got a good understanding of what referrals they're looking for. And it's the thing, you know, they brought guests, they give referrals and all these things out. But again, it comes back to, to focus and pitch. It just makes you look that more, much more professional. Uh, you know, as, as people, at the end of the day, why is a guest important? Well, it's your opportunity to show yourself as, in the best possible light. So, you know, if you really want to wow somebody, you know, be really clear as to what you're about. It's about, you know, at the end of the day, it's about reputation. We all have competitors. We have competitors. You guys have all got competitors. You know, we've, uh, you know, we can do LinkedIn searches within 10 miles of here, and I will find competitors, masses of them, to all of your businesses. How are you going to get in business? It's just, you know, it's just about reputation. So these guys scream quality. But it's not, you know, there's nothing, you know, but professionally speaking, there's nothing technically better about them. They just apply themselves with energy and enthusiasm, and they're very clear as to who they want to meet. Thank you very much. Is that all right, right Tom? Absolutely brilliant. I've got that all no, recorded so on here.